Doctor Who is coming back this weekend, which got me thinking, how many of the amazing things from the show actually exist in real life? Geronimo. Anthony here for DNews. I could not be more excited about Doctor Who coming back. When I was a kid, I used to wear my mom's scarf and steal my dad's screwdriver and run around the backyard pretending I was Tom Baker. I was special. But it turns out there's not much need to pretend because we've got a lot more Doctor Who in our universe than you might think. First up, Sonic Screwdriver. Yeah, we've got that. Last year, the University of Dundee showed off their MRI-guided ultrasonic beam. You can see it here, lifting up an object, but the idea is to use it in things like surgery and drug delivery to the body without having to cut a patient open. It doesn't pick locks or solder wires, though. Yet. What about K9? Well, uh, we've got Boston Dynamics Big Dog, three feet long, two and a half feet high, controls itself autonomously. He's not really the conversationalist K9 was, but that's fine. You probably wouldn't be able to hear him over the go-kart engine that powers him. Also, he's a little more destructive than K9. Bad dog. Okay, so maybe he's a little more Half-Life 2 than Doctor Who. So let's all just search eBay for a used Sony Ibo. Probably closer. Finally, weeping angels. As long as you're looking at them, they're stone. They can't hurt you, you can't hurt them. Close them, they kill you. Don't worry, the creepy killer bit is not the real part. What's real is the quantum Zeno effect. Some scientists in Texas in the 70s were observing uranium. Now, uranium is unstable. It decays over time. So the scientists leave it alone in a petri dish and they walk away and they come back, it's decayed. Cool, uranium. But when they try to watch the uranium decay, it wouldn't. They watched it for two days and it didn't change at all. Certain particles don't change if you're watching them. And we don't know why but don't blink. If you want to find out more about the connections between actual science and Doctor Who, there's a great book and a BBC special, both called The Science of Doctor Who, that go into the more theoretical, wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff. We'll put links in the description, and let me know what weird technology or place or being from Doctor Who you would want to be real, and subscribe for more D-News.